Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Main Street Cycle, Iuka, Mississippi location. It's been a long time since I've given y'all an update about what's going on on this property. Over here on the back side of this massive area, you can see that there's a lot of work going on. And I'm here with Mr. Steve Crane. We're gonna let him tell us a little bit because it's been a while since I've personally been up here. What's happening out here? What's Blake, going on? As you know, man, we're just so excited about what's going on here in Iuka. Whenever we first uh, took on this piece of property, we had originally bought 30 acres of land over there on the top of the other hill and we started developing it and got started on it. And then uh, some more land become available until here we are setting over 100 acres. So. With that being said, when we got this land, this just become the prime spot. It's the biggest spot we got. It's where we had the most dirt, less dirt to move. Yes. Uh, so this this is gonna be where Main Street Cycle's at, except for where we're actually standing right here. Well, in the end, probably be 6, 12, 18, 20. You're, where we're standing will be 20 foot lower and all this dirt will just be making this area even bigger and bigger. Yeah, let's that's... let's start over here on this corner. Yeah, and, it, and real quick, I, I, I'm going to flash some footage back from when we first got here. Where we're standing, this was all trees. Yeah. And this was also just uh, a big hill is all this was. There was no flat ground out here. And now you're looking at a gigantic, massive flat area that is going to be easily double this yeah it, it's <laughs> which gonna... is hard to imagine because of how massive this is right now you can see these dump trucks over there we'll show you all that in just a moment also going to be showing you drone footage just wanted to remind people this we didn't have much to work yeah. with you know I, how cool would it be if you could put in some footage over there when we first bought that piece of property yeah, with the house it had and, a house on it and trees yeah. on it i'll do that i'll that, throw that, that in here. Be sharp. yeah there's three pieces of property we've acquired the hill that we originally bought, and then this piece in the center, and then this piece on the end. And the reason this piece on the end is so important to us, because we actually have, th this is Highway 72, it's a major road. So we're gonna be on Highway 72, and back up that way, we'll, have, we'll be having Highway 25 access. So this, this piece of property here is so important, because that flat spot you see down there of dirt, we will eventually connect from where your truck's sitting down there. All this gully and everything will be filled up and that spot right down there will be the main entrance. It, that roll of trees will come out, they won't be there, but there's a Highway 72 entrance hiding down there to this road. So we'll have Highway 72 entrance, we'll have Highway 25 entrance, and uh, all this dirt, where all this is gonna go down, it'll connect that corner back there, and then it'll, it'll go all the way to that, that dirt down there. Everything you see will be filled up. And then let's uh, let's let's go down and let's talk about this other piece. Okay, Blake, I wanted to show you this spot here. I don't. I'm hoping that you can go back and pull some footage and show. But you see this green hillside over? You see the Iuka 25 Fulton sign there? On the top of that hill you see right there, that was the base of I'm a, what I'm gonna call this mountain we moved. That was the, that was the bottom of it. From that right there, it went way up in the yeah. air right there. So we, where where you're standing, where we're standing right here. We would have been many a foot underground at one time. Yeah. But uh, what, what we got, we got two more six foot cuts. Where your truck is sitting at right now, that is gonna be gray. Your truck will be sitting on a finished product once we get it graveled and asphalt and everything down. But then the, the next step up is six more foot and then this, this step right here is six foot. And then this will all be gray down there. Uh, but let's, let's walk over here to the other side right here and let's, let's look what they're doing over here. Okay. You can kind of see a little bit more here. You know, we talked about the corner over there, the way that gully was going to fill in, the Highway 72 access. This pad will end where you see that dump truck sitting over there on the other side of that power line. That's, that's going to be the end of this particular pad. I'm um, eventually, we're going to go over, we're going to talk about the front lot, what's going to happen on the very front lot over there. It's going to be cool. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in just a minute. So same as when we was over here on, on this front, we got, we got 12 more foot coming out where these guys are working right here. Where, there's, where that track hose setting and that dump truck there, that's pretty well grayed right there where that truck is. And then you got a six foot that's gotta come out there. And then when you come up here, you got another six foot. So we got a, a total of 12 foot gotta come out here. Um, just kind of give you an yeah. idea, kind of looking at about probably six more months of moving dirt is kind of what we got on our mind. Then we'll, 
you know, let her sit here a minute or two and get ready to start putting a building on it. I'm just, you know, yeah. I can't speak for the building people, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking at least six months on putting a building up, it could take longer. Yeah. But yeah. we're looking at, we're, we're looking at another year on this project yeah. for it to really co come full term. Blake, before we get over to the front, front corner, I thought I'd show you this right here. When we were standing on a hill, I was telling you about this holler's gonna be filled in and that dirt spot over there, and then there's Highway 72 access on the other side of the trees. What I wanted to show you is the roadway that's coming in from the front. This road will come in, it will come through here, it will cross, it will cross right here. Th this hump that you see down there where them culverts sitting on top, them trees, all that will be coming out. And then this right here will go straight over to the Highway 72 access. And that's where we were standing just a moment ago over here. So you can kind of maybe see just how big this place is. Like this area looked small when we were up there, but it, this spot just right here is ginormous. <laughs> This, this this lower section right here is probably a bigger spot than that whole first 30 acres that we originally bought over <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, it's crazy. So there's been so many of y'all asking for an update. Like, Why ain't y'all started building all this and that? Guys, I'm hoping this video is showing y'all just how big this is gonna be. And uh, we're, we're making all the cuts right, making good decisions for the future. It's gonna be worth the wait. It's gonna be done right. It's gonna be definitely a, just a destination place for everybody to come check out. I can promise you that. So Steve, I see that they're, they're digging from over here right now and you explained it earlier, but just one more time since we're here, what, uh, they're dumping over here on this side and that's to get it on grade to yeah, the front. Yeah, just bringing it up to grade. That, like where that where that truck is setting uh, right there, it looks like it's probably got to come up about four foot. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it won't, and, and it's going steadily up as we go, yeah. so well, it won't take a whole well, bunch more dirt to get us Where we're setting at right now, like where we're at on this truck, we are actually setting on the grade. Okay. So you got to bring it up in sections. It's got to be packed in. Yeah. To, uh, just be able to hold up big trucks and right. big buildings. Now we're coming up to the original spot that we, you know, purchased to have Main Street cycled, just right up here on the corner. <laughs> yeah. So, and as you look right here, Blake, one of our biggest problems we had when we first, and when we only had this corner, you'll see that hump up there in it. And in that hump up there, there's a there's a phone line, and it was a very important phone line that we had a lot of trouble getting them to move we didn't know if we'd even get it moved but we did get it moved but this whole front end this whole front hill now will be coming down uh, we'll talk yes. more about it when we get up to yeah. the top this will be the highway 25 entrance for the people that's not close to us this this highway 25 right here is actually where main street cycle is we're on highway 25 in tishomingo about uh, 12 miles south of here yeah. right on this road so this is still the same road that Main Street Cycle is currently on so we'll we will have a highway 25 entrance on the same road we've always been on we'll just be adding the highway 72 entrance over here on this main road but this will be an entrance and what what my goal is I've got to I've got to get a locate done and I got to find out exactly how deep my phone lines that are now can you show them this hill right here behind us? We didn't know if we would ever get to take that hillside out because it actually has a high end um, fiber line in it. And it was uh, like an act of Congress to get it moved. But it, I think it did take Congress. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, but we did get it moved. That's a good thing. It is moved. Uh, thanks to Bubba Carpenter. He's the one who made that happen for me. Thank you, Bubba. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, but we got, we got this phone line out and uh, we're gonna be cut. We'll start by cutting that hump down. But then where we're standing right here, we're gonna carry it down. And my original plan was to carry it down 15 foot from right here. So that'll come down however many feet that is, and I don't even know what it is. And then this will come down at least a minimum 15 foot. But I've watched when they moved this phone line and I seen where they put it. I seen, I seen everything about the way they done it. And I really believe I'm gonna to get to carry this down more than 15 foot. So uh, where the limo's setting, man, it's gonna be way down there. Yeah. All the dirt that you see on this whole pad right here, and by the way, this pad right here is 40 acres. This is a 40 acre pad. 
we're counting the land that's right off the edges of it. Yeah. Th this is uh, that this this little spot sticking up right here on the ground. You see that little line right there sticking yep. up? That's the gas line for the house. For that house. That's what there was a house right there. Yeah. What a year and a half ago, two yeah. years? I can't remember. That's right. But. Um, we will be cutting this hillside way on down. This will become a pretty massive spot. What are we gonna do with it? I don't really know. We'll fix it up. We'll fill it full of four wheelers. One thing we hadn't really talked about too much is when we get done, we, we plan on having a test riding track. So yep. when you come to buy a new four wheeler, we wanna have a place where you can go out and spend 15, 20 minutes on that four wheeler, fill the suspension, fill the power, yep. make sure it's right for a driver, a rider, and. Uh, just you know we're going we're going to have it set up it's going to be a destination yeah, this absolutely. this is going to be i actually one time i asked joel i said joel can we change the name of the shop when we go to iuka from main street cycle to destination cycles i, I want this to be a destination place for all all riders like if you, if you think side by sides this right here is where everybody is going to think one day in the united states is hey let's go to tishomingo that's going to, it's going to be a destination. But by the way, Joel wouldn't let me change the name. It will remain Main Street Cycle. <laughs> if you look off this hillside right here, you see that little concrete that's been poured right there. I'd, we're definitely going to be lower than that. So when, when we get down lower than that, all this dirt's got to go somewhere. So this dirt will be going towards what's going on over there. Yeah. Uh, will we reach all the way over to that pad? I don't really think we'll have enough dirt to get all the way over there, but this will be a whole lot massive yeah. bigger here. And uh, you you can see the hillside right, right here. This that's where this that cable that's was. where the cable is. It'll all be coming out. Yeah, Blake, I think we've kind of showed everybody about what's going on here. I'd like to carry us back to Tishomingo now, and let's go talk about Tishomingo. Well, guys, we're going to head about 12 miles that way. Let's uh, let's go. Everybody's always asking, well, what are you going to do in Tish? Are you going to still have anything in Tish? Well, I want to I want to use this for an example. We're going to go around this building. We're going to show you the amounts of money we've just spent on this building. And my question would be to you, do you think we're going to have anything in Tishomingo and keep on spending money here? Just, we'll just, just let you form your own answer on that. But what I'm going to show you what we got going on. You can see the new update that the uh, shop is getting on the front. All the glass windows will be coming out. It'll get all new windows, new doors. Uh, it'll get all new brick. It's, it's going to look brand new on the front of it when we're done. And we'll, we'll go around back and we'll talk about the roof that we put on it. And Blake, what are you, what are you thinking about the front of it? Man, what kind of ideas you got? It's coming together nicely. Um, I really love the way cosmetically how it's going to look now. It's going to be really nice, especially with the designs that Joel and the, uh, Zach and all them are coming up with. Just, it's it's going to be pretty. Just talking about Zach, uh, give a little plug to Horn Builders. They, yeah. I'm telling you, them guys, if you need something done, yep. them guys know what they're doing. They Let's are, see if they I can are zoom the in best. on one of their trucks. Yep. Maybe you can see this information there. Horn Builders. Yeah, they've, I, they've been doing their... I think they can pretty much take on any I, massive I, project. They can do on. anything. There's no doubt. Well, let's let's go around back. And look at the look at the new roof they put on. Well, actually, the the new roof they still got to put the tin on, but they've right. got the structure up, and there's a new a, a build a new building around back. Let's go look around back. Okay, let's do that. All right, here we are at the back corner. Now, keep in mind the shop maintenance shop and warehouses and all that stuff you know it's it's rocking and rolling wide open but steve we're at the back of the showroom tell yeah. us a little bit about well, what's been going on blake when it all originated what we had going on we just needed a new roof on we started out putting the roof on and we just couldn't find a stopping place till we ended up just redoing everything <laughs> but as you see every, everything's got a new roof on it and uh the back of it back here we still got to get the side and everything on it we originally was going to leave this black on this side, but now we've decided we are just going to go ahead and completely do this in. So we will be um, tearing that little on leaning lean to off and we'll completely redo this too. We'll, we'll walk right inside this door right okay. here if you want to, Blake, and we'll look. And... Yeah, yeah, see, all the way down to hey, the end there. Ch check out the, oh, this, yeah. now th this is important to me. Harper, Bentley, and Ollis, everybody Everybody That's the that, grandbabies. Yeah, everybody that keeps up with the story knows where Joel signed his name when he was about five years old here. But this is, this is the grandbabies. 
Harper, Bentley, and Alice. That's pretty awesome right there. This used to not be a building right here. This was actually open, uh, just a, there wasn't even a cover in here. Mm -hmm. two, two weeks ago, there was nothing here. Preston sitting there keeps saying he's gonna bring his office back here and it's gonna be finance, <laughs> but I don't really know if it is or not. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. Getting that Team MSC trailer ready for the weekend at oh, Mudslingers. Yeah. yeah, we always got stuff going on, guys. We got, you know, construction constantly happening. We got customers buying units. We got uh, mechanics putting units together, doing special builds, doing service work. There's all kinds of stuff going on. And like Steve said, we got the ladies here getting the trailer ready. Hey! They're getting the trailer ready for, y'all going to Mudslingers this weekend? We'll be there. Amber, awesome. tell us all about it. Give us a five minute documentary on what's, what's going on. You got five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> um, so there'll be mud races. There'll be a bounty hole. There will be a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Fancy. Um, we'll be there all set up with uh, everything you could need. Parts, merch, wheels, tires, coolers. I so, don't know, Selena, what you got to say? Holler at, at us for the mic. I'm just here helping clean up and set up. <laughs> <laughs> but everything uh, from here all the way to the other end of the block and everything behind us is part of Main Street Cycle. And then I'll show you some drone footage of our unloading dock and our one of our warehouses down there. And we've got a big fenced in area. We just got... we. We need more space, but we've got a lot of space we're yeah. working with now. So. Yeah, it's, it's 40,000 square foot yep. up here on this end, and that's not counting the unloading dock right. and some of the extras we have. But, that's yeah, right. this it's, we've just outgrown it, and just yeah. we're going to have to do something more. And unfortunately for us right here, we just there's no more buildings, there's no more land, there's no more... There's nothing else for us to get right here in Tishomingo, yeah. and that's why we've got to do what we're going to do in that's Iuka. Right. But right. I just I do want to remind the people that... Uh, these are not going to be vacant buildings when we build at Iuka, and if it if it was, would we would we spend the money and do what we're doing? That's just just wouldn't happen. That's so right. just want that's to right. encourage everything's going to be good here at the Main Street Cycle location. Are we going to keep any part of Main Street Cycle here? It's a great possibility, uh, but it's just the only time's going to tell. Yep, yep, that's right. This is just one of our parks uh, accessory warehouses here, and. Uh, just got a lot going on, constantly moving inventory and stuff coming in. So it's constantly getting moved around and organized here. So got a bunch of windshields here, all kinds of goodies, storage boxes and all that. And then there's more, there's more stores. And then of course, a bunch of accessories set up all up front and everything. Blake, we're looking for a mechanic for this bay right here. Uh, yep. One of our, one of our really good guys is you know, had a bout with cancer, and yeah, uh, we're we're waiting on a waiting to put a mechanic in this this part. That's right. There's the old eight wheeler. We're about to get out, and uh, I think the eight wheeler is fixing to be learnt if it will float or not. That's Joel right. And Blake yep. says we're fixing to find out will she float like a boat. Yep. That's what. That's the game plan. <laughs> that's going to be fun, guys. When I open these doors, I hope they ain't too messy. <laughs> This oh, is uh, work going on. This is Mr. Ernest's bay. He's putting units together for the public, getting them, getting them ready to ride. Yep. There he is over there. I thought he might have been eating a barbecue somewhere. It's about <laughs> dinner time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> putting together a, a Z Force 800 trail. Looking good, Mr. Ernest. Check that color out too. Yeah, that's that's nice. awesome, ain't it? Yep. Time I get ready to take a nap. You show up. Blake come in here and found Tim on a, he was sitting down here about to sleep. Uh, he was just about to take a nap. Uh, Mr. Tim, what you doing? What are you doing, Tim? Studs. Uh -oh. Replacing studs. All right. All right. Well, this is, yeah, Mr. Tim's got a job here going on, starting out with the studs on this C Force 800. Blake, as you know, and most everybody has known, we have added another dyno room at our Red Bay location, so we we don't use this one as much as we once did, but this is this is still a room of science. This That's is where right. some of the science happens is in here. That's right. That's right. And we've got several dinos now. Yeah, we got three <laughs> total now. Yeah. Check out Jeffrey oh, Willis's Jeffrey right Willis here. Jeffrey Willis's the Hulk. Dude, that, that turned out awesome. I like it. 
You can see it at the takeover. Oh, snap. Well, as you know, we got the, Harmon's got the most important one on the lift yep, right now. Yep. Harmon's, right. this is Harmon's bay here. He is putting me in a left rear axle. Um, snapped it last weekend as it should have because we have definitely been rough Yeah, on this it. thing has been pushed to it the has max. Been There's no doubt about it. I don't even know if they know yet, but we got to change these tires around too. Uh -oh. What is Joel doing over here? Sevens. Joel is over here turning wrenches, doing a customer he, build here. He's putting a relocate kit yep. on. Team MSC radiator relocate kit. Hard at it. This is a this is a new build, ain't it? Yeah. Awesome. That's uh, sweet. So yeah, you can uh, come and get a unit brand new and get it built the way you want it right off the bat. So that's that's pretty nice. Come on up through here. We, we know we're talking about Tim sleeping. This is where Joel sleeps. Yeah, this is Joel's little office here. This is uh, where he gets away from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Blake, the only thing left is, I don't know if you want to, but we could go up front and just roll through the sure. showroom we'll or through the through shipping department. Quick. It's under construction still at the moment, but we still show everybody it changes all the time. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll check it out. We just, we are so hoping to, well, there's no way we're going to have this done by CF Moto Takeover, but we I hope we got I hope we're in a lot better shape than yeah. we are right now. Preston, you got anything to say for the camera? You want all your customers to come and get some financing? Yes, we'd love to have you here, and we make it easy to ride. All right, that's right. That's right. That's what I'm you can tell about. he's been on WTV yeah. right a few times. Yeah, he's he's on the money, son. Austin, what you got to say this morning? I'm out on that one. You, just tell him how good your boss is. Boss. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if you're talking about me or Preston, though. You, you... <laughs> <laughs> all right, he ain't got nothing to say, but I know Lacey's got something to say. Yeah. She's always. Always. Austin, does she ever hush? Mm -mm. Come ride with us. That's come, right. come ride good, with them. Good. All right. Hey, these are some builds that we're about to be doing some videos on here soon. We, we did a video on one of them, and... We got them all in and then we started construction. So uh, we're going to be doing some videos on these custom accessorized builds here. So you can come check them out and see what all you can do to these units. Well, this is where we keep our CF Moto side by sides for right now until renovations are finished up in the front. We've got all of our side by side models. And then we've got some ATVs here. Just showing you real quick. And these get moved in and out. New builds come in, new units come in as customers purchase, so it's always rolling in and out. Blake, two things when you come in this room. Number one, we need everybody to know we do have street bikes yes. as well. We yes. know we kind of push the off-road stuff, seems like more than the street, but we do have we do have your two-wheelers. Yep, yep. That's the 800NK, 450SS. We've got some good deals on some of our non-current year models as well, so. And right here, all of our CF Moto customers, I know you gotta need a ride lumbar. I don't know if the general That's public right. knows that we sell X marks as much, but uh, we do sell X mark lumbars and pretty much everybody will agree that X mark is the best lumbar on the market. So we need to, we need to get our CF Moto customers down here and get them on the X mark. Yep, yep. We've got all the models, and if you don't see it right here, we've got them out. We do out have there, plenty in, together. in the storage. Yep. And we got something for all ages. Yep. Mom and dad needs to get them kids their own four wheelers. That's right. Got Gator Waiter apparel. You can buy all this stuff online as well at teammscparts.com. Helmets, tires, and wheels. We got a big tire and wheel room back there. It's got a lot going on. Blake, got, everything in this room will be used. If anything's sitting in here, it means it's a trade-in and it is for sale for about half price of new and come come get you a used one. That's right. Got several different options, different uh, manufacturer models. There's always something different in here. Always. Mackenzie, what you got to say for the camera? I need, I need you to tell them how good our parts department is. Might be. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Put Derek on the phone. Yes, sir. Put old Derek's on the phone. 
old Derek's on the phone right now Blake, taking care of I'm going to show you one of the most important employees we got, though. Uh, we got Taylor. Taylor. Let's go in here and see where Dylan's Let's at. Let's sneak up on Dylan and see what's going on here. He's about to die in here with the construction oh. going on. They're installing new air conditioners. And so would you know it, he is going to be going to lunch, I guess. Oh, Dylan, we came to see you, bud. Yeah, I'm Dylan. leaving this in here. Dylan, where are you at? Dylan, what are you doing, son? You know, he may be in the shipping area. He may be. Let's go see let's, if he's in see. shipping. Let's see. I don't know who that guy is. Yeah, that one That one likes to eat a lot. We showed you some outside storage. Here's some, here's some inside storage of stuff that's just be ready to be shipped out to our customers. Yep. This is, this is Team MSC Parts dot com space and there's more rooms and stuff in between the parts counter and back where we were with dylan so more parts and accessories that way there's and stuff all down through here just tons of stuff so ready to be shipped out plus all the stuff we had outside and in our other uh warehouses Secondary clutch tools. We got fans going out today. Boy, that thing's looking sweet too. Yeah, it coming on nice. summertime. Yeah, you definitely need you one of these. Wendy. Yes. We need you to tell us all about our shipping department. How quick are you? First day, unless it's over the weekend, and then sometimes it takes a little longer, or unless it's a special made product, it takes a little bit, maybe up to seven days to get it. Or get it shipped out but most everything we, we ship it's out the same, the same day. day that that uh if you place the order uh, we don't leave at night until everything is fulfilled is that exactly right? Right. that's right i make sure everything goes out of here every day i don't want to <laughs> have to wait on anything else that's right. be done that's right all right blake i, I guess this is going to yeah, buy the rest of our team is back and forth uh from our shipping department they're out there getting the trailer ready too so. yeah just a lot going on here Oh, sunlight. All right, getting her all fixed up. Well, Steve, I reckon I reckon that's going to do it. I believe it will. I hope, oh. hope everybody enjoys the video we put out and just wanted to show everybody a little bit about what the, what the future is. Uh, I think everything will come into play within the next year, year and a half. You'll see everything we've talked about come to pass. That's right. Sounds good, man. Right. It's going to be exciting. So we appreciate you all. Hope you enjoyed this video. God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one. Blake, are you live? Uh, I, I just you, hit the record button. Are you live? Yep, I yep. want you to look what's rolling in here. Yeah, we what, just closed, what, tried to close what, the video let, out. Let me, let me see what time it is. Okay, it ain't dinner time. <laughs> where has where this boy been? It is dinner time. Hey, did I not? We were standing at the parts counter. I said, let's go see one of my most imported employees. You did say boy, that. Boy, oh. it made me think about, is he really that imported? Because he's not even in his space. He's, he's not lunch. even, he's at lunch. Where, it ain't even lunch time. <laughs> Dylan, what you got to say about Main Street Cycle, what's going on here? We just want to hear you talk a little bit. We won't put about you. You're on the spot. On? I want you to know you are on the spot. You're live. We can't yeah, we edit this. We prepped you. Yeah, this. I'm not. I'm not going to edit this. We, we uh, want to know. Just, just tell. We just tell us something. I just, you know, Main Street Cycle is growing. Like people, people don't realize the amount of growth that Main Street Cycle has seen in the last, especially the last four years. But I want to say in the last six months, Main Street Cycle is growing. We're yeah. on. We're on the up. Everything's getting better. We're getting more customers. We're selling more units, uh, and I mean, if you look at the construction going around here, you can just see growth all over it, and I love it. Awesome, man. All, all right. right. Well, I, that unedited. Now, tell us what you're fixing to do for the rest of the day. I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. There's no plan for him. I need, I'm going to have to reevaluate. There may be a layoff in the store. <laughs> layoff? <laughs> <laughs> all right let's close this this was a bloopers we done this just to be funny at the yep, end this, this was right. for fun <laughs> bye bye See.